Hey there, Apple enthusiasts! Get ready to dive into the future of iOS. Today, we are breaking down iOS 18, Apple's most revolutionary update yet. I'm about to walk you through the 5 game-changing features that will transform how you use your iPhone. Whether you are a tech guru or just love your Apple devices, these updates are going to blow your mind. From enhanced customization to groundbreaking accessibility, iOS 18 is packed with surprises. So buckle up and let's explore the ultimate guide to iOS 18's top 5 features that every app fan absolutely must know. So with this information, let's dive right in. One of the best features of iOS 18 is here. Customize your home screen. This feature allowing users to create truly personalized layouts. Users can now adjust icon sizes, create custom widgets with live data, and even set animated wallpaper that react to the time of date or device usage. And for customization your app icon, guys, like this, uh, you can tap and hold here. And you have an option to actually shift and drag and drop your icon wherever you want, which is so great. And you don't have any limitation to actually uh, drag and drop your app icon. As you can see guys, you can customize your page like this, which is so great. And another option to customize your home screen, tap and hold here. Select edit and here add widget. Now guys you have an option to uh, actually add uh, the widget you want to be actually in this page. Let me show you for example I will choose uh, weather. Let me find it. Now after select your widget you need to be here. I mean and on this page. You have an option to drag and drop wherever you want and actually customize uh, the size of your widget. As you can see, just uh, tap and hold and scratch it, which is so easy and great. Now when you tap and hold on your widget icon, you have an option to actually edit and customize it. Let me show you again. Tap and hold on or your widget icon and you have a four option to actually uh, resize the widget size I mean. So you have a four option to actually see your widget. I mean how to see your widget which is so great. So it was so easy guys. Again let me resize the widget like this. Just hold and tap which is so great. Now we will go for the uh, second feature which is so great. The next feature is about how to customize your lock screen. iOS 18 introduces customizable quick access button on the lock screen, allowing users to add their most used apps or functions for instant access. Users can now choose up to four shortcuts including apps, specific actions without apps, or system toggles, all accessible with a simple swap or tap without unlocking the device. To customize your quick access lock screen, just tap and hold on here. And after that, select customize. And here, select lock screen. And as you can see guys, you have an option to remove or change your quick access here, which are camera or flashlight. So just tap on uh, remove icon and here uh, tap on add and here you can see the uh, bunch of actions or maybe select application which you need to have a quick access for example I'm gonna choose uh, translate as you can see so uh, let me show you how to do that just tap on here so just tap on quick access and you have an option to see the uh, translate here. Just tap on it and as you can see I have a quick access to my translate which is so great. Now I will show you how to actually add uh, most used apps for your quick access. Just remove and tap on add 
year select open up again go out again tap and hold select customize lock screen just tap on this icon and here you have a shortcut just uh, tap on app and here you have an option to select uh, the application you need to have a quick access as you can see this is a uh, list of my applications and whatever you want you can select or go to search bar and search for uh, for your application for example i will choose uh, xvpn as an example let me choose yeah and here just tap on it and as you can see just done and let me show you how it works again just tap and hold here on the xvpn icon and that's it as you can see I have a quick access to my VPN. Let me test it for you. Which is so great, guys. Actually, guys, this feature enhances convenience and efficiency, letting users personalize their lock screen experience to match their daily needs and habits. The third feature is eye tracking technology, allowing users to control their devices using only eye movements. This accessibility feature enables hand-free navigation, selection, and even typing, making iPhones and iPads more usable for people with limited mobility. To enable this feature, go to settings, go to downside, accessibility, again go to downside, and here you can see eye tracking. Just tap on it, and here you have an option to turn it on. Now as you can see in the screen, follow the dot with your eyes as it moves around the screen. So be patient and just follow the dot with your eyes. So after calibration, you can see uh, you can move between the options just by your eyes movement, which is so great. Now let me show you. I'm just as, as you can see guys, uh, I don't touch anything. Just with my eyes, I can control the menu, and you can turn on or turn down the uh, actually option just with your eyes, which is so great. Actually, the eye controlling system is highly accurate and can be customized to individual user needs, opening up new possibilities for interaction with Apple devices. iOS 18 enhances the message app with two powerful features: reply back and send later. Let me show you what are them. Just tap and hold on your message and here you have an option to reply back. And whatever you want, you can choose. Let me show you again. Just tap on here and hold. And you have an option and again, you have a specific option to a specific emoji, which is so great. Another feature which is added to a message app is text effects. And let me show you for example I write uh, great and here you can see the text effects and here we have a, a 10 effects which you can add to your uh, text for example select jitter and when you send with this effect your message your friends can see with this effect which is so great for example best and let me show you another effect choose text effect here yes and this time shake and as you can see my text is shaking so uh, I will tell you another actually big option in message app which is send later actually guys the send later function enables user to schedule message to be sent at the future time let me show you how to do that with a actually good example for example type happy birthday and here, uh, just uh, tap on here, I mean the add, go to downside, more, and here you can see the send later function. Just tap on it, and here you can see the schedule to send your uh, message for your friends or family to actually, don't, uh, don't forget that for the future, which is so great option, especially for the character like me, uh, actually who always forget uh, my actually cousin or my family birthday time 
It's so great actually option uh, in iOS 18. Actually this option is perfect for different time zone or remembering important date. And after send, guys, uh, you have an option to edit it or uh, whenever you want, just uh, delete it before actually the scheduled time. So whenever you need, you can edit it and add extra work to it or delete it before send. Actually guys, these features make messaging more organized, thoughtful and convenient for iOS user. And finally, the best and biggest update, which is how to customize your control center. iOS 18 introduces a fully customizable control center, allowing users to add, remove, and rearrange control to Jay liking. You can now resize controls, create custom shortcuts, and even add a dark mode toggle for quick access. Now let me tell you how to do that. Just tap and hold on here. And guys, as you can see, you have an option to move your toggle here. Add uh, actually new toggle or just uh, resize the toggle size. One more time. Tap here and hold. And you have an option to resize your toggle size. And swap up your toggle. And whatever you want, you can do here. Uh, you have a more option to actually customize your control center. As you can see, you can move your toggle here or here. Well, we are done here. I will try to make a complete and comprehensive video for each feature in the next videos. So don't forget that to like this video and subscribe to the channel. As always, thank you for watching. See you in the next.